Welcome back to another Tableau video. In this one, we're going to be covering custom SQL. Let's go. Here we are for another video. And before we get started, quick reminder that my training is up and running. So check it out. Jellyman Education. Link is in the description below. And there's heaps of Tableau training for you. So let's head over to the video. I have a data source here that is a Microsoft Access based data set. Now, typically, we don't really use Microsoft Access all that much, I found in the industry. Um, but that's kind of where I cut my teeth kind of 10 years ago. Um, and it's good because, well, Access can be anywhere and it's good for a tutorial. But in reality, we will probably be using like Oracle or BigQuery or um, SQL Server, some of those things, uh, some of those other platforms. But the idea is the same. You only have to keep in mind that obviously each SQL for each platform is slightly different. So be sure to check the syntax. So in here, we're going to upload this um, database. So here we go. And we can bring in the sheet that is inside that database. Now here you can see we have volcano number, we have volcano name, last known eruption, etc, etc. So just some general volcano data. And say I wanted to do some SQL on this data source, right? Because maybe this isn't the data I actually wanted. Maybe what I wanted was by country, because I can see that there's multiple countries here of the same one. What is the average elevation, right, for all the entries by country? Well, I could go back to the data source and do the custom SQL there, or I can actually do it all right here. Now, there's two ways you can go about this. If I get rid of this, right, we can bring in a custom SQL, right? So if I do that, it's going to ask me, all right, what SQL would you like to run on this data source? The only problem with this is, as you can see, kind of blank. So a cheat you can do to kind of help you get started, um, if you don't want to go back to the data source to see what's actually available is drop in the data source, click on the triangle, and go convert to custom SQL. And what that will do is generate a select statement for you. And it basically is just bringing in all, this, uh, all the fields that are available for that particular sheet or that table or that view, whatever it might be per the data source. And from here, we can actually convert this. Um, we can just start operating as S, uh, in SQL. So let's say I wanted to do the average elevation right by country. Well, let's first get rid of everything else. Okay, be careful of your commas. Now you can decide to do it in here, but all the text is just going to be black, right? So you're not going to have kind of the syntax assistance from things like maybe Notepad or Visual Studio. But for now, for this example, we're not going to worry too much about that because this is relatively simple. So to get the average elevation by country, you're going to need to do a group by function. Uh, group by clause or statement, whatever they call it. Um, and then also the average function itself. So we're going to do AVG bracket. We're going to apply it here. Okay, so this part is the actual field itself. And this is the alias that we're going to be applying to it. And then from here, we have to group by. So anytime we do an aggregate, we also need to group by. And we're going to group by the country. Like so. And we can go OK. Now, what you're going to see is it's going to compute. This is a relatively small data set, so it's in an instant. But in some cases, when you're doing like hundreds of thousands, give it a minute, <laughs> right? And now we have the average elevation by country. There you go. That's it. Custom SQL in Tableau is that simple.